In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a YouTube channel in 2024. Now I'm going to explain here from start to finish exactly what you need to do. So all you need to do is follow my guide and you'll have a fully functional YouTube channel, which is branded with a unique username at the end of this video. So first you want to go to youtube.com and I recommend you do this in an incognito window or you can sign out of all of your other YouTube accounts on a normal window. If you do it in incognito though, you'll have no accounts currently signed in and you can then create a new one from scratch. So here you want to go to sign in in the top right hand corner and then Google are going to ask you to sign in to YouTube. Obviously we don't have an account yet, so you want to go to create an account. Now you can choose here for personal use or for work or business. If you're creating a channel and you want to kind of like create a brand and upload videos, I recommend here you choose for work or my business. And then it's going to ask you here for just a first name. Now this first name isn't going to show anywhere on your channel. So you can type in whatever here really. I'm just going to type in my real name, which is Bradley and then click next. Now it's going to ask for your birthday and gender. So I'm just going to enter in this real quick. My birthday is March the 14th, 1998 and I'm a male. We can then go ahead and click on next. Now, if you're owning your channel with other people, you can put anyone's birthday there. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to show on the account or anything. So that info is pretty much irrelevant. Then it will take you to this window where it's going to ask you to use your existing email or create a new Gmail. Now, I always recommend you create a new Gmail address when you can, because you want a new Gmail address associated with your new YouTube account. And you want to disconnect your new YouTube account from any personal information and any personal Gmail accounts. So click here where it says get a new Gmail address instead, and you can then type in your new username. Now, whatever you type in here is relevant, right? It's not going to show on your YouTube channel, but you are going to need to use this email to log into your YouTube channel. So if you haven't decided on a YouTube username yet, now would be the time to kind of like have a think because maybe you want your YouTube Gmail to be similar to your YouTube username. I'm going to create a tutorial channel. So maybe I want my username to be something like simple tutorial guide at gmail.com. Now that might not be available, but it also might be. You're going to have to find something here which is going to be available. It doesn't really matter too much at this step because all you're doing is creating your Gmail account. But if you're having multiple people log into the account, you obviously want it to be simple, right? So simple tutorial guide is actually available. So we're going to run with that. So now type in a password. That's fairly self-explanatory, right? Type in a password that you can remember. Now this password and email is going to be used to log into your YouTube account. So make sure you remember it, then click next. Now you need to enter in your phone number to confirm you're not a robot. So I'm just going to do that real quickly now. So type in the code that you've been sent to your phone, then click next. Then I would advise adding a recovery email. This can be your personal email. Just if you're getting hacked or you get locked out of your account, you're going to wish you have added a recovery email. So go ahead and do that. I'm just going to add one here. It's then going to ask you for a phone number, which I'm going to skip. But again, you can add a phone number. This is just going to be for security. I'm going to skip this, though, because I've already added a recovery email. But you can choose to add another layer of security and add a phone number. So here is our Gmail account here, simple tutorial guide at gmail.com. We can go ahead and click next. And I'm going to choose the express settings, which are going to set up in a couple of minutes here. So click next. Then scroll down and accept all of these and confirm. Now, what we're doing really here is setting up our Gmail account. So just go ahead and agree to all of this. Then we can get to creating a YouTube account. It's going to ask you here to set up as a business. Click not now. We just want to set up our YouTube channel. So now we're inside of YouTube and we've created our account. So now if we go to our account here in the top right hand corner, you'll see your name and your email. You now want to go to create a channel. And now what you can do is start to create your channel. I don't really have anything to upload right now, so we're going to leave this blank. We can always change this later. Then you've got your name of your channel. So I think I called my channel email like simple tutorial guide. So we'll run with that for the channel name. And then for the channel handle, we can also have simple tutorial guide as well. Your YouTube name is just going to be what's shown. So here you can see Ryan Trahan is a YouTube name. NDL is a YouTube name. Your handle is going to 
basically be included in your YouTube link. So our YouTube link here will be youtube.com forward slash simple tutorial guide. So here we can now click create channel. And by the way, both of these fields can be changed inside of YouTube. So here is now our channel, simple tutorial guide. Now what we can do is we can click on customize this channel and it will open up this window. And it's gonna welcome us to the YouTube studio for the first time where we can then continue. So now we can go to branding and here you can upload a profile picture as well as a banner and also a video watermark which can appear in the bottom right of all of your videos. People like to have like a subscribe watermark here. You can create one for the dimensions 150 by 150 pixels. Alternatively, if you just open a new tab and type in here watermark for YouTube and then go to images, you'll see some of these watermarks which you can just go ahead and download if you've got the rights to them. A lot of people just give these away. Anyway, banner images, you can get that sorted by just typing in YouTube banner template. Or you can go ahead and create one in Canva if you don't want to create a custom one. Again, there are many different templates that you can edit. If you go on Canva, you can just go ahead and edit one of these for free. And again, look, there are many different templates for you to choose from. Same with the YouTube profile picture. You obviously have your own branding and own logos you want to upload here. Then if you go to basic info, you've got your YouTube name and your YouTube handle. You can also add pronouns now in 2024, add a description as well, and any social links you want to add, you need to upload or add them here. It's also good to put in contact information because if you want to do brand deals, this is where brands are going to message you. Now there is one more thing that I would do is go to earn. And on Earn, if you haven't verified your email already, this is where it will ask you to verify. Because we verified when we created our Gmail account, it's not gonna ask us to do any additional verification. So we can upload videos, and if we click here, email me, they're gonna email as soon as we've reached the requirements to join the YouTube partnership program. Now the requirements are 1,000 subscribers, and one of the following, which is 4,000 hours watch time, or 10 million YouTube Shorts views. Now that's pretty much all there is to it. If you then go to your account in the top right hand corner, you go to your channel. Here is your channel. You can go ahead and then upload content. So if you click create, it should then take you to the YouTube studio where you can upload videos. Alternatively, if you click create in the top right, you can upload videos here. So go ahead and make some videos, just get them uploaded, see what works, see what doesn't work. And most importantly, have fun with YouTube. If you wanna learn how you can make money on YouTube, by creating simple tutorial videos just like this one. I'll leave a card or a video on screen now, go and watch that, and it's gonna explain how I make money by creating simple tutorial videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.